Hey guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly. And today in this video I'm gonna show how to show battery percentage in Mac menu bar. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And now, let's begin. Starting with this click wallpaper to show desktop items. To disable this, go to system settings, then desktop and dock, and under the desktop and stage manager section, select only in stage manager from the drop down. And now you won't have the annoying transition. The next setting is to turn on clean up automatically verification codes. If you are constantly logging into various services and apps and have enabled two-factor authentication on these, your mail and messages inbox probably be filled with verification codes. To turn on this setting, go to system settings, then passwords, then password options, and from here, enable the clean up automatically option under the verification codes section. Once you have enabled this option, all the emails and messages on your Mac with the verification codes will automatically be deleted once you have used them with the autofill option in Safari. The only caveat is that this feature will only work if you use the Apple Mail as your default mail app. The next setting is to turn on inline predictive text. If you want your Mac to automatically suggest what to type as you are typing, based on your previous words and sentences, like a nice little assistant, then you should enable the inline predictive text option. To enable the setting, head over to System Settings, then Keyboard, and under the Text Input section, click on the Edit button next to the Input Sources option. On the next page, simply enable the Show Inline Predictive Text option, and you should be good to go. The next setting is to turn on Portrait and Studio Lighting Effects in FaceTime. While macOS Sonoma introduced a lot of new features to FaceTime, to enable this, first open FaceTime, and click on the green video icon in the menu bar. Then, under the FaceTime HD camera section, enable the portrait and studio light options by clicking on them. The next setting is to turn off pointer acceleration. A new feature in macOS Sonoma lets you turn off pointer acceleration for any external mouse, making the mouse pointer movements more precise, and helping you aim and shoot or simply navigate more accurately. To turn it off, head over to System Settings, then Mouse, then Advanced, and from here, turn off the pointer acceleration option, and you should be good to go. The next setting is to turn on advanced tracking and fingerprinting protection for all browsing. While this feature is excellent, it is only enabled to work in the private browsing mode by default. So, if you want to prevent those nosy advertisers from tracking your online activity even in normal browsing mode, head over to Safari settings, then advanced, and then in the privacy section, select the drop-down menu next to use advanced tracking and fingerprinting protection, and select the in all browsing option. The next setting is to turn on touch ID or password for private browsing mode. The private browsing mode is Safari, which is intended to browse the web privately without storing any information about your browsing activity. To do this, go to Safari settings, then privacy, and from here, enable the private browsing option. After this, whenever you switch to the private browsing mode or try to access a tab opened in the private mode in Safari, you will be required to authenticate using Touch ID or password. The next setting is to turn on Safari profiles. Safari has received a big upgrade in Sonoma, and we can now create different profile settings for Safari. To do this, launch Safari, then go to Settings, then Profiles, then click on Start using Profiles and, then create your profile. So, these were some of the settings you should change to utilize macOS Sonoma fully. So, that was it, hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any question, just comment down below, thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.